If the use of the unapproved peripheral continues, not only will the player be restricted from competitive on console, but they will be forced to play with other mouse and keyboard players when playing in quick play for the entire season. Guys, I've got some massive news here for Overwatch 2. They are banning all Zim devices. That's right. This is massive for console Overwatch. Check this out. We go from the crazy news of the, of the insane ban policy to this. This is actually massive. If you play Overwatch on console, you will know it is basically unplayable at high levels because Zimmers and people using Zim devices are literally using a mouse. On, and it's just completely ridiculous. It throws the whole game into disrepute. But Blizzard have actually solved this. So this is what they say. This is li literally, this is massive news. Honestly, guys, this is massive news. So director's take, addressing unapproved per peripherals on consoles. Uh, Overwatch 2. Hey, everyone. Senior game producer Adam Massey and lead gameplay engineer Daniel Raza, the Raza, the Raza legend here, subbing in for Aaron this week. We're going to share some updates on fair play for console players in Overwatch 2 regarding the issue of unapproved peripherals. What are, un what are unapproved peripherals? Well, our goal for Overwatch 2 is to be a great experience no matter what platform you play on. The game feels best when matches are close and competitive and everyone plays on a level playing field. To help achieve this, we've tailored the game experience on console by adding console-specific features such as aim assist, which helps bridge the difference in precision of aim between mouse and controller. Unfortunately, some players on console have been using devices that allow them to use a mouse and keyboard while tricking the console into thinking that the inputs are coming from a controller. While some use different peripherals for accessibility purposes, some players take advantage of aim assist while using peripherals that were never intended to benefit from this feature. For our purposes, we call these devices unapproved peripherals. This is Zims, essentially, right? That's all it is. It's, this, it's massive Zim ban. I guess, of course, like in terms of Fallout, which is actually great on Amazon. Go and watch that right now. I've actually reinstalled Fallout New Vegas, so I I'm a lost cause, but whatever. Um, yeah, this um, potentially the fallout could be that uh, devices that people are actually legitimately using get banned. But I hope that Blizzard can sort of, you know, weed those out and they're only getting rid of the Zims. Anyway, let's see what they say. Today, we're going to look at how we detect the use of unapproved peripherals and the actions we're going to take to level the playing field. Okay, so detection. <laughs> Figuring out... Uh, which players are using unapproved peripherals has been a challenge for us to overcome. These devices are designed in such a way that consoles are unaware of them and often have anti-detection features designed to make them even more elusive to catch. We have been carefully stud studying these devices to ensure we have a high confidence in our ability to detect who is using them. Now, obviously, they're never going to tell us how they're going to do this because the people that make these devices will just circumnavigate that. So, yeah, don't expect an explanation here, guys. Anyway, let's go on. While we won't go into specific detail on exactly how we detect these devices, we can say that our detection has already been in place for multiple seasons, passively gathering data for us to analyze. Now that we have gathered the data we need, we can finally talk about how we plan to deal with the use of these unapproved peripherals. Based on our data from the past few seasons, usage of unapproved peripherals is highly apparent in high-ranked gameplay, typically at Grandmaster or Champion rank being the highest while usage of unapproved peripherals between bronze and platinum ranks was very rare. For this reason, the actions we take will be primarily targeted to help ensure fair play at higher ranks. Okay. A quick disclaimer on users with accessibility needs. It is important to us that Overwatch 2 be accessible to as many players as possible, and we want to recognize that for a few players, the use of unapproved peripherals may be a necessary component of their controller setup. We have done our utmost to ensure that players with accessibility needs will be less likely to trigger our detection. If a player with accessibility needs is detected, we have tailored our actions so that these players will be able to continue playing Overwatch 2. Okay, this is interesting. This is so are they are they almost saying they're doing some sort of they're not doing like they, they basically can't detect if you're using the hardware through the console, but they can through the way you play the game. So they can be like, okay, the, these movements. This is probably a Zim player. We've gathered enough data. We can refer this back to the data we've gathered, so we're going to ban this player. However, that player then might say, well, hang on, I'm a disabled gamer and I need this device. What, does this say that, is this kind of saying that they've tailored their actions so these players will be able to continue to play Overwatch? Does that mean then if they moan to customer support, they'll go, hang on, can you prove this? And then they 
unban them. I don't know. That's kind of ambiguous. But a lot of this is going to be intentionally ambiguous anyway because they can't give the specific details out. Removing unapproved peripherals from competitive play. Starting in Season 11, players who are detected using an unapproved peripheral on a console will be actioned in two phases. The first time a player is detected, they will be restricted from competitive on console for a week. Players will still have access to quick play during this time. And if they cease using the unapproved peripheral, the restriction will eventually expire and they will be able to resume playing competitive. However, if the use of the unapproved peripheral continues, not only will the player be restricted from competitive on console, but they will be forced to play with other mouse and keyboard players when playing in quick play for the entire season. So, okay, so my reaction to this is this is all you should do, Blizzard. Like, why are we even... We shouldn't even... They shouldn't have even said they're banning these devices. Although I guess they probably should because it's good PR. But but just make them play against each other and that's it. Like, they've got their own matchmaking. If you plug a Zim in, you just play with the Zim players and that's the end of you. <laughs> then it's fair, isn't it? It's a level playing field. Because I cannot under... I, well, I cannot underestimate or understate how like of much of an advantage it is using mouse and keyboard with aim assist against people using controllers. You can just aim faster. It's just insane. Like, and if you know how to play Overwatch as well, it makes you deadly. Anyway, additionally, these players will no longer have access to the aim assist feature. Oh, that's even better. So they take aim assist away from you. So they're like, do you want to play on PC? Well, we'll give you PC on console. <laughs> this is great. This is actually great. But they will be playing against players who use a similar control setup to their own. Okay, yeah, they can still... So they're not going to... Okay, so this is really interesting. They're not banning you from Overwatch but they're going to ban you from comp if you keep using it. And then if you keep using it, the quick play will literally just be you against other Zim users <laughs> and you don't have aim assist. So it will probably feel terrible. This is actually amazing. This is actually amazing. Taking immediate action. What about the use of unapproved peripherals before season 11? Over the next few weeks, there will be permanent account bans. Wow. Against players who are the most severe abusers of unapproved peripherals. These actions will be targeted towards high-ranked players who have been reported by others and who our data clearly shows are using an on a, a Zim. <laughs> a, a, rem a reminder that per our Blizzard in-game code of conduct, don't I'm not clicking on this because this is the thing that you can't swear. Automating any facet of the game or engaging in any activity that grants an unfair advantage is considered cheating. For console players using these unapproved peripherals who do not want their account banned, the only way to evade these bans is to cease using unapproved peripheral right now. There will be no other warnings. <laughs> it's like, stop now. You, you've you got to stop now, as you will get banned. Although this is interesting, right? So they're going to ban permanent account bans on people who are severe abusers, but people who are just using it, uh, who apparently are not severe abusers, <laughs> can can continue to use it, but they'll just be playing against each other in quick play. They're banned from comp, um, but without aim assist, which is actually genius. That's genius. <laughs> the future of mouse and keyboard for console we recognize that many players use unapproved peripherals to enable input devices they simply prefer overall. So we have started discussing whether we can add official mouse and keyboard support to consoles in a way that doesn't give these players an unfair advantage over their controller counterparts. Right now, for competitive, console players play in a separate pool from PC. So in order to allow console players who would like to use a mouse and keyboard legitimately, we would make sure they would be able to play in competitive matches only with other mouse and keyboard users and without the benefit of aim assist. So that would be like essentially cross play, wouldn't it? Cross platform competitive. It would be like the console, you know, you, if you want to use your, your Zim, but you won't have aim assist or well, okay, no, it's if you want to use a mouse and keyboard and they've given support for that, which they haven't at the moment, but if they do, then what are they saying? They'll just add you to the PC matchmaking pool. Cause then it's a level playing field. And the final thoughts are, we are committed to making Overwatch 2 a fair game for everyone, regardless of what platform you play on or the input device you choose to use. These changes are a step in the direction of leveling the playing field. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we continue to evolve our detection and actions against unapproved peripherals and other means of unfair play. Keep an eye out for defense matrix. Okay, this is actually super cool. Honestly, this is cooler than I thought it would have been. So what I want you guys to do in the comments below is let me know what you think about all of this. I think there's going to be a unanimous, like, Thank God for this uh, from the console community because this has plagued the game for way too long. And it, it, it's not just Overwatch. It plagues loads of other games as well. But like I said, that benefit you get from using a mouse and keyboard through a Zim on your console and the aim assist on top, just it's ridiculous. It's almost a requirement if you want to play at the higher levels of console. Now they're saying, actually, this is being 
basically eliminated. So if you want to keep using this device and you are a serial offender, which they don't really explain what that means, but basically if you've been reported, I think, a bunch of times and I don't know, you're just a bad player, who knows, they're going to ban you from the game. But if you're just average Joe who keeps using the Zim, eventually they'll go, actually, you're just going to play against people who have also got the Zim. And you know what? Um, you, you don't have aim assist no more. So it's just like playing keyboard and mouse like it would be on PC, which then they might add that support later on down the line is the console, which I think this is a very cool way of doing this. Honestly, this is really cool. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, because if you're a console gamer, let me know how this has affected you as well. Uh, like you guys know, I don't play on console. Um, so it, this doesn't necessarily affect me, but I know it's a major issue and it is an issue I think we do need to talk about. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I've been Stylosa. You can catch me on everything, which is at Stylosa. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, sub to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.